podcast. Here's KATC meteorologist Daniel Phillips. A very hot forecast down there this week really has been a scorcher. Humidity was increasing as well today, and that's kind of what we're looking at as we wrap this week up. We are officially kind of sinking into that summer pattern now. The day in, day out, high humidity, uh, plenty of sunshine out there, hot temperatures. Well, it's here to stay. Things uh, pretty quiet here today. Fair weather clouds kind of drifting through the area. We've avoided showers and thunderstorms for the most part. We've had uh, pretty quiet radar here this afternoon. A little bit of shower activity way to the north up through the Arklatex region. But other than that, Louisiana, South Louisiana in particular is looking pretty good here this evening. And it should stay that way through the rest of the night tonight and getting into tomorrow. Now, as we go through the day tomorrow, you'll start to see a few isolated showers popping up. There's just too much moisture out there to really rule them out, and those winds are going to continue to come in from the south. If we see any activity tomorrow, it's going to be built in a little bit later on in the day. Very, very typical for this time of year. Isolated thunderstorms possible late Friday. Rain chances do increase a little bit for Saturday, but again, the morning is going to be fine. If you can take care of all your activity in the morning, then when the showers, the thunderstorms flare up in the afternoon and the evening Saturday, you'll be done with everything outside. Sunday is when it becomes a little wetter. That moisture continues to work its way in. You've got showers and storms out there starting Sunday afternoon, and from there it will be on again, off again. Rainfall that's going to last all the way through into next week, so the heavier rain chances get started on Sunday. In the meantime, we're hot and we're pretty humid. Heat index over uh, the next 24 hours going to be sitting up in the mid 90s. These are some of the hotter days that we've seen so far. We obviously are going to continue to see hotter and hotter days as we get further and further into the summer. But the first kind of mid 90s round of heat index usually fairly notable out there. It'll be 94 up through some of the northern parts of Acadiana down along I 10. Similar story and it starts off really warm as well. You know, by 7 a.m. We're at that time of year where Six, seven o'clock, you've got a heat index that's already sitting in the 80s. You're going to be running up in the 90s through the majority of the day from about 11 o'clock onwards all the way through to six, seven o'clock. You'll stay in the 90s when it comes to the heat index. And then down along the coastline usually runs a little bit cooler. You've got that that heat or sea breeze there that can usually help you out with the heat, but it also brings in a little bit more humidity. So again, mid 90 heat index rolling through the day tomorrow. You've got the heat index at about 80 degrees starting early in the morning and going all the way through into the later parts of the night. For tonight, we get down to about 72. We're pretty swampy out there tonight. Again, heat index wise, we'll stay in the upper 70s, lower 80s range. A little bit of cloud covering out there, but for the most part, fairly quiet, warm, and then very muggy. Tomorrow we get up to about 89 degrees. Heat index in the mid 90s. Pop up showers, thunderstorms going to be possible. We'll call it a 20% chance of rain. Again, we're just kind of going to roll through with at least a 20% chance through the foreseeable future. Starts to get very wet on Sunday and from there, your Memorial Day holiday onwards. You've got on again, off again showers that are going to last for several days, and you're probably looking at a couple inches worth of rainfall through that time period as well. High gets up to around 89 degrees tomorrow, low tonight down to around 72. We've got more coming up right after this.